I know the title might seem crazy given the past few videos that I've been putting out, but we've got some major news today in Pet Simulator 99 that we have to go over because this is going to have a humongous effect on the market. We got some unexpected news that's going to change the way huges are going to be opened and sold throughout the market for a long time. So this is definitely something that we need to talk about because this could have a very long lasting effects on the market itself and maybe potentially how you should be investing your diamonds in Pet Simulator 99. Remember, as always, to join the Discord for daily giveaways and a helpful community. Link will be down in the description below. Uh, and liking the video and subscribing to the channel helps me out a lot. That's all I ask of you guys if you are watching these. As well as if you guys could go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel, that helps me out the most, so I would appreciate your support. Let's get right into it though, because this market is changing so fast and we keep getting new leaks that changes things almost every day in this game. All right, you guys, so a few days ago, somebody tweeted out at Preston basically complaining about the condition of the huge Hunter Game Pass in the exclusive shop. They were basically saying that this is not that good and it's basically just a waste of money and they felt like they got scammed by it basically. And then we got a reply from Preston basically asking what they expected from the Huge Hunter Game Pass because it already increases the odds dramatically. But I guess a lot of people supported the original person's tweet. So today we ended up seeing a buff to the Huge Hunter Game Pass. And honestly, it's not just a slight buff, it's a pretty significant buff. I'll have the picture on the screen here of the Huge Hunter Game Pass, how it looks for somebody who has bought it. What they did basically is increase the odds by two and a half times. So originally you were getting increased opening chances of getting a huge by 2,500%. Now we are looking at 62, 50%. So basically two and a half times better odds for you to get a huge computer from opening those active eggs, which honestly is a pretty big deal. All right, you guys. So if you didn't know what the active huges are, basically we get this rotation of three huges that we can open from this last egg. So right here, you get a very, very, very small chance to get one of these three huges, uh, depending on what's in rotation at the time. So as you guys can see here, we have the huge berserker, the huge elephant, as well as the huge koi fish. So let's use something like the huge berserker. And we can use a website like ps99rap.com to look at how many of these have existed and how much that's increased in recent times. All right, you guys. So as you can see, if we pull up the huge berserker page here on ps99rap.com, we can see the price range over the past few weeks. But really what we need to pay attention to here is this total existing chart. What this chart tracks is basically how much of the huge berserker exists. So obviously this is going to go up over time as more people open these huges. You can see here that in the past like few hours, I'm not sure how long the game pass has been around, but you could see that the chart is beginning to go up exponentially. This basically means that the amount of huge berserkers that are in existence are just going to keep going up dramatically, which is pretty much just going to plummet the prices of these. I doubt the prices of these would fall to nearly the prices of the happy rocks and the happy computers, because you got to remember there's still like 750,000 of the happy rocks that exist. So it's going to take quite some time before we reach those levels of numbers for these. But due to this buff, I'm imagining that there's going to be a lot more people opening eggs as they begin hearing about it. Because I know, I know a lot of people do have this game pass and a lot of people still don't open eggs just because they can grind more than it's worth opening for these. But just looking at this chart, you can see how dramatic of an increase we had since this game pass news broke. And people have been opening them like crazy in the past few hours. So we can expect this chart to pretty much go like straight up as everybody who has the huge hunter game pass begins opening their eggs to try to get stuff like these huge berserkers. So basically what I'm saying is if you are invested in any of the active huges that are in rotation. So obviously this is about to change in 20 minutes. But if you're holding any of these, this is definitely the time you should be selling these. Instead of holding these huges, you're going to want to be holding huges that are not able to be opened anymore. Or probably just like the most common ones. Uh, just hold on to the happy rocks or the happy computers. 
it's too early to say how many of these active huges are going to be opened every day because this buff has just come out today basically probably in the next market analysis video i could tell you exactly how many of these huges that are being opened every day so basically how many more huges are entering the market each day because that actually has a huge impact on the supply and demand of the market and that's one of the major things that actually influences the game if you watched my video yesterday you know i talked about how deflation can really only happen if there are some news or something new has happened in the game that affects like how the market works and this is actually one of those events i'm not sure if somebody's listening to the videos and trying to affect the market but it seems like every time i talk about this stuff something big breaks or some news comes out that actually has an effect on the market now my personal opinion i don't think that this huge hunter buff is anything big enough to actually cause a deflation period in the market it is going to be increasing the supply of new huges being added to the game by a few thousand each day which is pretty significant but i think the ever increasing amount of diamonds that we're making each day is going to outpace that fact so it is really hard to say whether or not this could cause a deflation my honest opinion though is that this will cause the big inflation that we've seen in the past day to slow down dramatically and the reason for this is basically all the people with the huge hunter game pass this increases the odds that they stop farming as hard as they've been and begin opening eggs and basically all of the people that stop grinding the last area are going to be slowing down the amount of diamonds that are being added to the market so that's going to slow down inflation uh, a bit because it is going pretty hard at the moment and at the same time obviously we're getting a, a whole new like 2000 probably of each of these added to the market each day so that's a good amount of huges being opened every day so we could expect that inflation will most likely slow down due to this fact if you are holding on to these active huges though i have to say it again make sure you sell them because i'm sure the prices of these are going to go down a lot especially this huge berserker because there's only 2000 in existence right now if the huge rotation goes by and this is still in the active rotation we can expect a lot more of these things to be opened every day so that's just something to look out for i don't want you guys to be holding these and losing a bunch of diamonds as they plummet in price because there's just going to be so many more that exist that didn't exist a few days ago. Really quickly though, while we are on the topic of inflation, yesterday when I made my video and told you guys you should be buying, I think it was right here at this point, we were at 38.2 million wrap for the huge happy computer. And as you can see in the past few wrap updates, we are now at 42 million diamonds. So it was more dramatic than I thought. And I basically said that at the end of the video when I double checked with the prices that it seems like it was increasing a ton. So after that video, we saw a 1.4 million wrap increase, which is pretty accurate because I think in the video I said that we would probably see a 39.5 million wrap value uh, by the time that this video is uploaded. So that turned out to be true and it was actually slightly more than I originally said. But as you can see, we have seen some crazy inflation in the past few wrap updates. As you can see here, it did start to go down slightly. So it's not increasing as fast, but 700k wrap increase is still a ton. So I do expect we are still seeing uh, inflation continue. I'd imagine we're going to have to wait for the next few days to see whether or not this huge hunter buff actually affects the market in that way. Uh... Again, I don't think it will cause necessarily a deflation period, but it definitely could slow down the inflation that we've been seeing overall. So basically like the line from here up is gonna be slightly lower. So instead of being like a dramatic increase up, it's gonna be like slightly lower, you know? That's basically how the market works. But I hope you listened last night and were able to pick up some of these huges because if you bought at this level, and you sold now you could basically have made a four million diamond profit overnight for each of those huges that you bought when i made the video just something to take into account now i did give some other suggestions in that video such as buying this chest mimic enchant and since that video this has gone up about 50 million as well so i hope you guys that were looking to buy one of these chest mimics listened to that and picked one up before it was too late 
it seems like the inflation of this one is taking off once again. We can actually look at the chart to be sure real quick. So on ps99wrap.com, we can look up the chest mimic, find the price here. So as you can see, I think when I made the video, it was, what was it like right here? So yeah, it's actually gone up 53, almost 54 million since then. We have seen the price of this increase so much. I don't know if there's really like a max price it could go to because it's just going to keep getting more rare. There's no way to get a new chest mimic enchant in the game. So basically the rarity of this enchant is basically what's determining the price. So it honestly could keep going up forever. I just want to say I'm glad I didn't sell in those past few videos when I said I was thinking about selling because every time I say that I want to sell it goes up like another like 100 mil overnight it's actually insane. Now another thing I did suggest for you guys to buy in the last video was this boss chest mimic so I believe it was at like 177 when I told you or maybe probably 180 when I told you to buy it. And now it is gone up a 30 million difference, which is pretty significant for something that's 210 million right now. So in the past 24 hours, as you can see, it went up 16%. So I hope you were able to get this before it's too late. It does look like the price uh, has stopped going up so dramatically. It probably will stay around this 210 million price for a little bit, but we are expecting in the update coming next Saturday for this to be removed from the shop. And that's why a lot of people are buying into it. I did warn you guys in the last video that a lot of people have bought this with Robux. So there are a lot of these in circulation compared to the chest mimic. So that's the only thing I would warn you guys about investing into one of these, but Overall, it is still just probably the second best grinding enchant in the game currently. So I'd expect for the price to continue going up after it's removed from the exclusive shop. Besides that, though, for the ultimates, the hidden treasure has been going up a lot. So this will probably be removed from the exclusive shop as well. Um, I'm not sure what they are planning to do. I haven't seen any new leaks about any new exclusive enchants or any new of these ultimates. So I can't say for certain. They are going to be putting new ones in the shop in the update next week. But uh, it seems like the price of this has gone up as well. So people might be predicting that this is leaving the shop. Also, I have heard that a lot of people do use this one. And it's honestly not that bad of an enchant if you are grinding the last area. Obviously, it's just ridiculously expensive. I haven't personally tested this one out yet. So I can't tell you guys whether or not to use it. We have also seen the price of the charm stone increasing as more people hear about that new charm stone machine that we might be getting in the update next week. So these are sitting at 25,000. So something to look at for sure. Personally, I have so many of these charm stones, but I'm planning on doing a huge opening for them when the update comes out so we can use those extra charm stones for the new thing that we're going to be getting. RK tokens have been going down. I'm sure a lot of people have just stopped playing it pretty much. So it is pretty hard to sell these things. So the prices is going down for those. Um, it might be a good idea to pick up some of these secret keys while you can. Because in the new update, you can often get those new items from the treehouse in the first world. So you, buying these secret keys might be a good way to get some of those new items when the update comes out. So I will probably be holding on to a couple hundred of these just in anticipation for that event. Now, one thing I did forget that I wanted to talk to you guys about because I was looking at the chart for these eggs. So as you guys can see, this is the super jelly egg. And as you noticed, the price during those deflation periods really does not fall that much. Uh, as you can see, during the worst inflation, uh, these eggs dropped by about a million, which really isn't that bad at all. So I'm thinking that a lot of these exclusive eggs are the things that you probably want to buy and hold on to during those deflation periods. If you don't want to end up selling all of your huges just in holding gems, I think holding some of these eggs is a really good idea 
because comparing it to the huge happy computer, you could see these massive dips like 10% and all of these eggs basically never see those percentages. So like, as you can see, this is the emoji egg. This only trapped like 5% if anything. And honestly, they stay pretty stable. So these are some good things to hold during inflation. I'd imagine the reason for this is because people keep opening all of these eggs. So as the supply of these goes down, the prices basically stabilize a little bit. So they don't move as much as these huges because as you guys know, huges always stay in existence. We're always going to have a million of these happy computers. It's not going to go down to 900k or anything. So Having these are some pretty good indicators or some pretty good uh, stable things to own during deflation periods. As you guys can see, the super egg actually never really went down. It went down like 0.3%, 0.1%. Like these things stayed very stable during those deflation periods. If you do want to diversify some of your diamonds, I think holding eggs is a very good method to do so. Uh, so basically the strategy would be if you sold all of your stuff, when those big deflations happen, you could sell these eggs because they're going to be the same price and then buy those huges for cheap when they are at their lowest. Overall, that's pretty much it though. Let me know in the comment section down below if you approve of this new buff to the huge Hunter Game Pass that Preston has given. I've seen a lot of backlash about it. So it seems like people are just gonna be upset with Preston no matter what he does. But I just wanna know what you guys think down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much. Remember to join the Discord and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.